the 13th annual Monster Energy Ricky Carmichael Daytona Amateur Supercross returns to Daytona International Speedway for the biggest three-day amateur supercross event on the planet. RCSX on MAV-TV starts now. Hello and welcome to the 2022 Ricky Carmichael Amateur Supercross presented by Monster Energy here in Daytona International Speedway in Daytona Beach, Florida. I'm Mikey Waynes and I'll be taking you through today's racing action. We begin with the 250 All-Star Class, but first let's catch up with some of those All-Stars. This is pretty close to uh, Amateur Combine and all the other races, um, same track and same dirt so it's just preparing us to uh go the next step and have a fun time yeah. daytona is always great it has that weird dark dirt and um the sand's cool also so it's a little bit different than what we ride back west but uh yeah it's all good okay. try and win as much as i can and then uh go pro at the end of this year Daytona is definitely a lot different. I mean, you're in this, uh, the stadium kind of style. I mean, it's pretty cool. It's definitely different. So, uh, it's more of a Supercross feel. Um, ever since I've been racing Futures, this is completely different because it's a little bit more tamed down. But uh, it's been a lot of fun. Got the sand and everything. So it's definitely a lot different. Um, but it's definitely cool. Uh, the whole track is pretty much challenging. My favorite part is probably just the dirt. Like I really like the sandy base and getting good ruts and stuff like that. But the track is definitely just challenging because there are so many bikes. So it breaks down really fast. Lappers are definitely going to play a role in this uh, main event. It's a longer main event, 16 laps. So you're in the top front. I mean, you just got to get through them clean and uh, try to avoid them the best. It's possible. Yeah, it's pretty tight here. Uh, at Daytona, the track's always tight, not much separator, not a lot of passing going on, so it makes for good racing, tight racing. So uh, it matters a lot about the start, because if you get a bad start, you're pretty much screwed. So it's all about the jump. I love Daytona. Like I love coming and watching the Supercross race, and uh, it's always sick, you know? It's, uh, it's good. The track's always sick for the pros, and I can't wait to be out there. And here we go with the 250 All-Stars. Gate has dropped. We are off and rolling, and it is is Ryder D out in front. Get our eyes on it here again. Yeah, Ryder D, all right, he is out in front. Goes on the inside and Gage Linville on the out. Oh, Gage Linville with a good drive right there on the outside. Puts it into P1, just in front of Ryder D. Francesco in the number two spot. I believe we got uh, Capricanitis and, uh, excuse me, uh, GT Money, Kevin Towers. There we go, get it dialed here. Uh, back in the, back there in the mix, but uh, working on a good start in this one. There's a good shot of him right there. But again, a great, uh, great pass there by Gage Linville. Can he hang on here in the 250 All-Star class? Again, the 402 Yamaha Gage Linville out in front. There's Ryder D in the two spot. Ryder on the inside. Can he make it stick? No, Gage Linville back on the throttle and out in front. Trying to hold off Ryder D for at least the moment. Got a lap completed here, and we got ourselves a good battle out front between two heavy hitters in this 250 All-Star class. Gage Linville riding very well so far, uh, keeping uh, Ryder D at bay, at least for the moment. But boy, if we know Ryder D, he is not going to wait back there forever. He is going to take a shot, going to get up there, maybe try to force uh, Gage Linville maybe into a mistake. Maybe that's the best option for him. Uh, but right now, riding very, very well, working the track. Each rider kind of sticking to their own lines right now. But Rider D now up on the rear wheel. Again, I think you got to think, man, if you're Rider D in this situation, try to 
you know, apply the pressure to Gage Linville, get him to look up over his shoulder, maybe force him into a mistake and try to capitalize on that. Gage Linville right there. Hey, a little check up from the neck up. And oh, and there's the mistake. How about it gets up into the tough block just a little bit. And all Gage Linville with a little look back on the bike. Uh, hopefully everything's all right with the machine. I think it is, but boy, how about it? Ryder D taking advantage right there. And Linville back on the throttle. So I think all is well, at least things appear to be well with Gage Linville. We'll see if he can get back up into the fight. But there you have it, uh, Ryder D applying the pressure. And eventually Gage Linville forced into a bit of a mistake right there. And Linville now gonna have his work cut out for him. Meanwhile, in the number three and number four spot, I believe we've got Capricanitis, uh, as well as GT Money, Gavin Towers back from battling that one out uh, for the three position. But up front, Ryder D taking the reins and taking control in this one. While Gage Linville, the 402 Yamaha, tries to play catch up with Ryder D, but boy, Ryder with that good clean air in front of him now and see what he can do with some open track. Those guys, my goodness, you, you heard him talk about it. Lappers, hey, they're gonna be a factor. And uh, boy, it wasn't shortly after lap number one, uh, into lap number two, they were already up into some lap traffic. Of course, you saw uh, a couple riders go down there in, uh, in turn number one, uh, kind of set the bar for them here in this one. But uh, nonetheless, those guys up into lap traffic pretty daggone quick. There he goes, the number 23, Ryder D. Looking flawless out there here in Daytona. And Gage Linville just kind of left to wonder, man, I not had that little bobble. But I held him off in this thing. But nonetheless, hey, leaders coming through. There's a 402, Gage Linville right there. Trying to catch back up to the pace of Ryder D. It's still a, a stellar ride uh, by Lin Linville. Uh, looking at a P2 finish here. Uh, so far in this one. Don't want to count our chickens before they hatch, folks. But uh, nonetheless, still a solid ride. Just the one little mistake there. I know he wants to have that one back. I would love nothing, nothing more than to go out and grab that P1 here in Daytona. But is what it is, man. Going to happen because that man right there is absolutely scooting right now. He is hauling the mail. Rider D, another lap completed now. Looking just about flawless. And let's see. They talked about lappers. Let's see if it plays a factor. Don't know it's going to be too much of a factor for Ryder D, man. Split those guys. Doesn't matter what line he's choosing, seems to find the speed out there, as is Gage Linville. <coughs> Edit that cough out, Adam. <clears throat> so Ryder D now well on his way. Really needs to keep this thing on two wheels, ride it clean, and bring it home as he's got a pretty good gap in between him and Gage Linville now, let alone several lap riders in between them. Well, maybe not several, a few lap riders in between them. So some added obstacles for Gage Linville there at the, in, down to the wire in this one here. And Ryder D now looking smooth and smooth is fast. Little outside, inside right there for Ryder D working this track here in Daytona and trying to bring it home for a checkered flag. White flag out, now one more lap for Ryder D out there to keep it on two wheels and bring it home for a P1 finish. And hey, we talked about him. Oh, <laughs> that made me nervous. I don't think it made Ryder D nervous though. Ice in his veins, split in the lap traffic. No hesitation right there. He said, I'm not worried about you boys. I know what I'm doing. I'm in control. Gage Linville still in the two spot. Capricanitis back there, uh, I believe in third. And I think it's GT Money. Gavin Towers in the four spot. But Ryder D on the move out in front now. Getting around some more lap traffic, being patient. Knows he's got a good gap between him and Gage Linville. Doesn't need to push it right there into uh, his own mistake. And plays it smart. Been able to get around the lap traffic, no problem there for Ryder D. As he'll be bringing this thing home with a P1 here in just a moment. And feeling it now. Makes a little left-hander and now taking his time. Make sure he's smooth and through that uh, turn right there. And here we go into the finish line. Bang, the checkered flag flies. And it's a number 23 Monster Energy Kawasaki Rider D. Run my race the whole time, Mike. I got pretty tired there in the middle and then I regrouped and found like another gear. And I was pushed, I was, my goal was to push him to a mistake because I couldn't pass him anywhere. Chuck's pretty one line, but I got the win and yeah, executed the plan.
right, welcome back to RCSX here on Mav TV. Off and rolling with the WMX, and it is Katie Benson aboard the number 28 Yamaha out in front, at least for the moment. Boy, she's got some company. The 172 of Hannah Hodges and the 115. Oh, and what a tough break right there for the 115 of Brianna Sheltema in the uh, third place position, but goes down. Going to have her work cut out for her now as Katie Benson moves into the P1 spot and uh, off and rolling. And I believe they're in the number two spot, 469 on the jersey, 69 on the side of the KTM. Uh, that is Jamie Ostadio in the two position. And these two going to have a good battle here. The 115 of Brianna uh, Sheltema right there. And I think that was the 172 of Hannah Hodges uh, that went down earlier in this one. So that was Hannah Hodges who actually went down in that corner. It was not Brianna uh, Sheltema, uh, who is in the three spot, the 115. But nonetheless, great start by Katie Benson out in front in this one. Got a small gap on uh, Ostadio in the two spot. Let's see what she's got in store for you here as we are off and rolling right now. How long can the number 28 Yamaha hold her off? Both riders doing very well right now. Benson going high and Austin Dio going low right there, trying to work the track, find an opportunity, uh, some speed out there to try and catch up. Get on that rear wheels. Both riders on the inside now as Jamie Austin Dio now chipping away at this one from the two position. And Benson going to have her hands full, I believe, here in just a moment. We're going to have ourselves a good battle out in front. Hard on the throttle is the number 69 KTM in the two position. Again, working this track and now really up on that rear wheel. Uh, split lane right here as both riders choosing different lines right there. Let's see who it pays off for. Benson still out in front. And going high right here, as is Austin Dio. And here we go, just about showing her that front tire now, just about side to side. Let's see how we turn into this, uh, into the finish line area. Oh, we got ourselves a race now. It is just about side to side, certainly wheel to wheel. As Benson feeling the pressure, finds another gear right there, able to increase the gap, at least for the moment. Benson on the inside, Austin Dio around the outside. Can she get a good drive and make the pass? Now side by side, and it's still Benson out in front. Austin Dio to the inside again and takes the lead with a good, clean pass on Benson. So what can Jamie Ostadio do out front now? These riders are going to be getting into some lap traffic right there. Already up into a little bit of lap traffic. Benson trying to keep pace in the two spot. And both riders will have to course their way around the lap traffic here. But still good fight out in front in this one. As both riders choosing similar lines right there. But Jamie Ostadio, a good pass on Benson right there. She was patient. Let it come to her and seize the opportunity right there to move into P1. And now with some clean air in front of her, well, let's see what she can do. Can she increase this gap she has on Katie Benson in the two spot? Looks like so far so good. Benson still right there in the two spot, but Benson, man, gonna have to ride just about flawless and maybe hope to get back up on that rear wheel of Jamie Ostadio, maybe force her into a mistake, but Osadio really riding pretty flawless right now. Hopefully the uh, lap traffic doesn't play too much of a factor for him. Benson on the inside, chipping away at it a little bit. Now getting closer to that rear wheel. Let's see, Benson might have a shot in this one to regain the lead. Lap traffic with some checkup from the neck up. Want to make sure they are not in the way of the leaders. And oh, that was a tough spot for Katie Benson right there. Two lappers and, and really nowhere for the lappers to go. And, Benson loses a lot of time in there, fighting with some lap traffic, and that is a heartbreaker, no doubt about it. But hey, part of racing, we know that much. Katie Benson still in the two spot and still having a pretty solid race in the number two position. Meanwhile, Jamie Ostadio out in front, doing her thing, trying to grab a P1 here in Daytona. White flags out, we got one more lap to go, and Jamie Ostadio Trying to bring this thing home for a P1 finish here in Daytona. Just needs to ride clean, hit her marks, and bring it home for a checkered flag and a P1 
here in Daytona. Certainly a solid race so far in this one, and no lappers right here. So Jamie, a small checkup from the neck up, wants to make sure she knows exactly where Katie Benson is. And those little uh, switchbacks right there, able to get a good look at the rider rolling in second. Now just a few, tur few more turns away. Well, a little more than a few, but nonetheless, right and well. Benson able to pick up uh, some of that time that she lost getting stuck there behind a little lap traffic in that split lane section uh, the previous lap around, but uh, certainly would like to have that one back, no doubt about it. But meanwhile, Jane out in front, the number 69 KTM. It's 69 on the machine, the 469 on the jersey. Gonna bring it home here in Daytona. Gonna be bringing out the checkered flag for the women's class, and here we go. Bang, the checkered flag flies, and it's the number 69 KTM of Jamie Austin Dio taking the win. Uh, to make that pass, I just had to be aggressive with it. I knew uh, that was gonna be, probably be my only place to pass her, and uh, it needed to happen, so I just went for it. <laughs> with the Open A class now, where we'll get another look at Ryder D as well as Mike Alessi out on the track. And uh, GT Money, Gavin Towers, Ezra Hastings, all those guys off and rolling and grabbing the whole shot is the old Wiley veteran himself, Mike Alessi on the number 800 Honda. Good drive right there. And uh, I tell you what, Mike Alessi, Alessi, man, you better throttle on and create a gap because <laughs> Ryder D, Ezra Hastings, GT Money. Hey, they're going to be coming for you. These young guns are going to be hungry in this one. But boy, fantastic start for Alessi. There's Ezra Hastings in the two spot. And Ryder D, Francesco in the number three position all over him. Ooh, tough break for the number 18 Kawasaki rider, Gatlin Coons right there. Getting tangled up in the FMF tough block. Oh, uh, man, hopefully they can get him back going. But uh, that has got to be a frustrating maybe into his uh, moto right there, no doubt about that. Meanwhile, back out front, Ezra Hastings in the number two spot, Ryder D in the number three position as he tries to get Ezra Hastings squared up as we get another lap completed here and Michael Lessi still out in front in this one. Ezra Hastings with his hands full as Ryder D on that Monster Energy Kawasaki all over the throttle. Ryder D on the inside now, can he get a good drive and make the pass? No, Ezra Hastings Able to keep it going, caution flag out as our rider still, still uh, dealing with his machine wrapped up in the tough blocks. Here we go, Ezra Hastings on the inside, going outside, Ryder D keeping it on that line right there as how will we look as we come out here? The same, but nonetheless, Ryder D all over him. Kind of this similar uh, situation that we saw with him and Gage Linville, uh, where Ryder D was able to work him into a mistake and Ryder D able to capitalize and move into P1. Looks like he might be trying some of the same here, just apply the pressure to Ezra Hastings. Oh, and gets the pass right there as he puts Hastings high into that left-hander. And Ryder D able to capitalize and move into the two spot. And now let's see if Ryder D has got what it takes to catch up with the pace of Mike Alessi. Alessi with a good start in this one, grabbing the, uh, the early lead and was able to put a gap on him and the rest of the pack while Hastings and Ryder D were duking it out for that two position. But let's see, we got some open track in front of them. You got your A riders out there. So these lappers, uh, well, they've not, we've not seen an issue with them yet, of course, but uh, these guys know when the leaders are coming around and it shouldn't be a factor here for these guys, but possibly. Nonetheless, right now, Ryder D with a lot of open track, clean air in front of them should give him an opportunity to maybe chip away at the lead that Michael Lessie has. Meanwhile, Ezra Hastings in the three spot, trying to keep pace. GT Money not too far back there in the four spot. You know he wants it. See if he can catch up with Ezra Hastings on the gas gas. Hastings trying to keep pace with Ryder D and Michael Lessie. And here you go, how about it? Ryder D now up on the rear wheel of Michael Lessie. Both riders on the inside right there. And Alessi, he knows 
That ain't no lap traffic behind him. That is Ryder D on the Monster Energy Kawasaki knocking on the door. Let's see what the old Wiley veterans got for him. No, Ryder D for the pass. So Ryder D with a better drive out of the turn, able to get in front of the number 800 of Michael Lessey. And now let's see what the young gun can do out in front of Lessey. I, I got to think, in Alessi's helmet, he's smiling right now, but at the same time, he's thinking, hmm, did not want to get passed by the young buck, but nonetheless, some great riding uh, by Ryder D to put himself out in front in this one. And now we get into a little bit of the lap traffic. Shouldn't be too much of a factor for these guys. Ryder D, no problem. Michael Lessi, no problem. And we are off to the races. And now a small gap here for Ryder D out in front of Michael Lessi. How about some solid riding by this young man? Nobody surprised uh, by this. This guy, Ryder D, been on uh, the radar for a number of years now. I mean, you feel like he's a grown guy who I feel like should be in like his fifth year racing 450s at Supercross by now. He's still very young, uh, but nonetheless, again, has been on the radar, everybody's radar uh, for a long time now. And Michael Lessi is, hey, you're watching, um, I'm not gonna say the pass, Michael Lessi. Michael Lessi will be right until he is 90 years old. And I love that, uh, but getting a look at uh, past and future, or maybe not, I shouldn't even say future anymore, present, past and present, uh, right here as at Ryder D absolutely moving right now. And Michael Lessi still in that two spot. Haven't seen Ezra Hastings in the battle with GT Money. I think I might have been right, them right there at the top of the screen. It looks like GT Money, if I saw that correctly, I think is up into the three spot. Still uh, watching our leaders out here, Mike, or excuse me, Ryder D, number 23, Monster Energy Kawasaki, trying to bring this thing home, hit his marks, stay within his own helmet, keep it on two wheels stay mistake free so he can bring home a p1 and i gotta think there'll be a uh, a warm exchange between these two guys uh mutual respect no doubt about that Ryder d i think gotta feel good about this one as he's ready to bring it home the white flag is out just a few more turns now as Ryder d a little look to his left to make sure he knows where michael lessie's at pulls the tear off and he's gonna bring it home for the checkered flag right here bang and the checkered flag flies here in Daytona at uh, RCSX. And there, yeah, how about it? Ryder D, he's looking for Michael Lessie. He's say, hey, man, good ride, good race. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. And Michael Lessie, no doubt, he's proud of the young man. No doubt about that. We had a chance to catch up with Ryder D after the race. Racing a guy like Mike, that was probably the most funnest ride I've had here at Daytona. Uh, catching a guy like that, and honestly, when he got the whole shot, I was like, dude, I'm just gonna, it's gonna be hard to pass him. So I got up to a decent start with the 450s and reeled in Mike. And once I got by him, I honestly surprised myself. And uh, yeah, it was super, so, so much fun. The track's perfect. Well, again, a big congratulations to Ryder Francesco for the P1 finish. Mike Alessi hanging on for second, and that was GT Money rounding out your top three. Well, folks, that is going to do it for us here at Ricky Carmichael's Amateur Supercross here in Daytona. I'm Mikey Waynes. We'll see you at the races.